Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. We're in a Teams meeting and I want to show you how you can use Microsoft Teams meetings to share information and all the stuff that you can share while you're in a meeting. So we're going to look at the share button and just look at all the options there. And you're going to ignore my message about being muted. Thank you. So the share button is way over on the top right here with that little arrow in it. And when I use that button, it has a number of options for me. And so the options that are showing, you want to start from the very top there. So first off, if you're going to run a video that you want to share with other people while in your meeting, or maybe you have an audio clip that you want to run, you have to make sure you include computer sound because although you can hear it through your computer when you're sharing, other people will not hear it unless you choose include sound. So. Tip number one, I've seen many meetings where people are fumbling around trying to figure out how do I get the sound to play because no one's hearing it and they're all chatting about it. So I always remember when you're running a meeting and sharing with others that uh, you include that sound if that's something that you need to do. Okay, the next thing, uh, how you want to show up in the meeting as the presenter. So for instance, right now I'm showing up the full screen. I can have it so that I'm a little bit different now I have nothing on my screen right now so uh, standout mode let's just pick that so that when I share something after it'll it'll change to that and then what am I going to share am I going to share my screen so the screen that I'm looking at right now could be one screen that I'm sharing the other screen has my notes on it and that's where my recorder is I'm just going to go change that other screen for a second so hang tough so this is how it's showing me sharing that other screen with me as that little image that stand out in front of the white looks better anyways uh, so that's one of your options but i'm going to stop that share so just click in on that button at the bottom again and i'm going to go to share again to show you the other choices so another choice is just a window so rather than showing sharing the entire screen um, i can just share with you one window now let's talk about the advantages here if I share an entire screen with you, that means if I wanted to show you more than one thing, more than one window of information, more than one program, more than one spreadsheet that I might have open or, uh, you know, uh, other documents that I have open, then it's very easy for me to do that because I would just make sure they're all on that one screen. If I choose window, then that means I'm only showing you one window at a time. So if I wanted to go from a spreadsheet to a Word document or to a PowerPoint, I can't do that unless I say stop share on my one window and then start sharing on a different window so it makes it a little bit clumsy sometimes might be a little bit harder to you know make it flow as nicely so your, your choice but window um, of course if you only have one thing to share and one thing only then window could work for you so right now it says window 16 uh, is the number beside mine because it's telling me that I have 16 windows open um, I didn't know I had that many but it's ca it's counting in my browser if I have more than one tab of information open Right, so I could say, okay, I want to share uh, with people this. Let's see, what should I share with you? I want to share with you something within my team's environment, maybe one of the channels that I'm working in. So I want to show show you something there. So if I click on that, so that's just sh sharing with you the one window that I'm in right now within Teams. And if I wanted to show you something else, it wouldn't, even though I moved another window on top of this window, you as an audience would not see it. I see it as a presenter, but you guys would not. Okay, so let's stop that share. Let's do another example. So let's go back to the share button again. And whiteboard is a neat option for sharing because the whiteboard is letting me say that I want to share a whiteboard with everybody in the meeting so that they can then um, interact with me on that whiteboard. So it's kind of a, a cool thing to have uh, in you, especially if you if you guys all have tablets or you're using iPads, then of course a tablet or an iPad works so much better with the whiteboard. So once we have the whiteboard underway, then whoever's in this meeting with us can add stuff in. We'll just do a shape. So everyone is, just think of it as you're, you're, you have a whiteboard in front of you. You laid out some information that's helpful to the people in the meeting and you're letting them interact with you on this whiteboard so you can even have their, re their reactions showing up so they like something you said okay I like that uh, either giving you a thumbs up giving you a thumbs up there you know and so they're doing that as you're 
putting stuff on this whiteboard. So it's kind of a neat, neat thing to try out with your, with your team. All right, so let's close this share and try another one. So the next one we have as an option is uh, sharing content from your camera. So now this is assuming that as the presenter, you have a computer that has a camera attached to it or embedded in it. So whether it's a webcam like I'm using here, or you have a laptop and the camera's already embedded in it. Uh, when you say content from camera, then you're saying, I want to show the camera something and share it with you. So you guys can't, you know, it, it's, it's very neat because it gives you options of what you can show the camera. So let's just click on it. If you had a physical whiteboard that you wanted everybody to see you could share the whiteboard now of course this is assuming it's in the vicinity of where you can move your computer or your computer camera because you'd have to physically point it to that whiteboard if you have a document that you want to share with somebody then you could use the document option and similarly if you have a video so in real time so i can share with you something that i'm seeing in my environment and i want you to see it so i want you to see something that i'm seeing so all right so i'm going to share a document with you just so you can see and i'm going to try and point it at the camera and see how well we do here so document it's giving me a little message about how to share this so i'm going to say got it and then what i'm going to do is hold up this document and watch the camera try and outline it. So in this case, it's not quite outlining it like I want. So whenever I think it's kind of got it or got the whole thing, whatever I want, then I can tell it to share it. All right, so that's kind of a neat feature, isn't it? So let's stop that share and a couple more other options. So let's go to the share again. And another option is PowerPoint Live. Uh, so PowerPoint Live is quite neat because one of the good features about PowerPoint is as a presenter, it lets you get extra information as you're presenting. So uh, what that means is you can have notes on the slide and you can also know what the next slide is. So you can kind of transition to that next slide easily without going, oh yeah, that's my next slide, I forgot. So PowerPoint Live lets you see those notes and lets you see um, that next slide. So if I go, let's just pick one of these. It's just picking whatever PowerPoint I had open last. This is kind of what it was showing in that list there. And I'm just gonna go to a slide where I know I have lots of notes. All right, so you see um, this, is, this is the slide that I'm on. These are the notes that I have uh, on that slide. Let me just go to the next one here. So it's giving you that presentation mode. And of course it's letting me see uh, all the slides that I have available as well, so that I know as I'm presenting what slides are coming up next that are showing at the bottom area here. So that's quite handy if you wanna stay on track with your presentation. So that so that's a worth, worthy one of, of, uh, of choosing when you're trying to share your screen. And a great way of doing a PowerPoint, isn't it? Okay, and then one of your last options is to just browse on your computer. So let's go to the share. And if I scroll down here, I can just browse on my computer or my OneDrive to find a file that I want to share with you. And I'm going to go into courses and I'll show you an Excel agenda. And so I just click on that and then say share. All right. So now it's up to you. Start sharing more within your Teams meetings. Have fun. Bye bye.